So today in Destiny 2 is the start of a new season, it's Season of Dawn, and with that we've been given some pretty massive solar subclass reworks, and among those reworks is the Dawnblade Attunement of Sky. This has seen some pretty massive reworks, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys some of the ways that you can utilize the new movement and interaction of each of the different glides, the Icarus Dodge, and your new ability Heat Rises. So we're going to be talking about that. Just in advance, I'm just going to say that this is a live recorded video, so this is a little different from my other videos. I didn't feel like I needed to edit a whole lot into this. I'm just showing off a few things because I plan to do a build video tomorrow that's going to utilize these things, but I thought it'd be better if I just explained these things first before uploading that build. So anyways, also my controller has been duplicating some inputs for some reason. You're going to see me just float upwards sometimes, even though I'm just meaning to press the button once. I'm sorry in advance. But anyways, this class has an iconic ability, I guess iconic to it per se, which is called the Icarus Dash. This is a Twilight Garrison-esque dodge that you now get two dodges as of this new rework and update per every five second cooldown. It now reacts to momentum a lot more in terms of maintaining momentum and working against momentum. And you can use those dodges in rapid succession. For me, all I have to do is jump and just double tap or I guess class ability. For me, it's double tapping B, which would be my crouch button. But that's how I would activate it. I'm uncertain about other loadouts. But when you're using this, of course, you can use it to have better in-air evasiveness. And still twist and turn while you're in those dodges, oppose your momentum, and be as, again, evasive as possible in your fights. One thing that I don't think a lot of people might remember about this class, though, is you don't actually need to be in the air to activate that dodge. Meaning, you can actually just double tap and then jump, and then it's going to activate the dodge as soon as your character lifts off the ground. So if I double tap crouch and then jump, as soon as my character lifts off the ground... He's going to be in a dodge animation depending on where my left stick is moving towards or pointing towards. So this makes it really nice because you could actually be in a gunfight and if you're a controller player we don't have that kind of speed that mouse and keyboard has to just dip back into cover on a dime. Like we still have to kind of turn you know I still have that little bit of a turn before we get in cover. But now if you're in a gunfight you can just sorry about that you can Simply just double tap and then jump and you're back in cover. Boom, boom. Just like that. Just double tap and then jump. Very, very simply. So that's a really cool tip to have if you're looking to use your Icarus Dodge as a way to stay alive, of course, which I assume you would be. But now let's talk about different ways that you can actually, I guess we'd call it Warlock Skate. Basically, utilize the interaction between your glides as well as the abilities on this tree and the Icarus Dodge to move really quickly. So firstly, we're going to be starting with the Burst Glide. And we're going to be doing something that combines our Burst Glide with our Icarus Dodge. So if I can do it on the first try here, you can actually carry mo your momentum pretty well outside of your Dodge. So the way that we're going to be doing that is we're actually going to jump and then we're going to use our glide but immediately after using our glide we're going to dodge so jump glide dodge and i believe you can chain those as well probably for better momentum so jump glide dodge you can utilize that to get you better momentum so that's with the burst glide now we can take a look at some other glide options, which are really interesting because I don't think that these have been really utilized much. Anything that I show you now with the strafe glides, also possible on balance glide, but I believe the strafe glide is just faster. So when we consume our grenade for the heat rises ability, it actually makes our strafe glide pretty quick, comparable and a little faster than our burst glide would be. Sorry about that upward movement, that's the duplicated inputs for some reason. So you'll have to do a double tap very quickly or just near the peak of your jump for this to work. Because if you do it too late, it's just going to hold you still in the air. Like if I do this too late, it just holds me still in the air. You got to use the momentum to boost you forward. 
to consume a grenade again. And if you try to do it on the downward momentum, sorry about that, that's the duplicated inputs. If you try and do it on downward momentum, it doesn't really work either, it just holds you in place. So you have to do a very quick, just little two tap and just build your momentum gradually like that. Now, another thing that we can do is we can actually see how that interacts on the burst glide because you're probably wondering how that works and it's actually not good. So it actually slows us down quite a bit. You can see with the burst glide here, it doesn't really work. It actually feels slower than the stock burst glide, which for reference, we can see how fast it is here. And of course, burst glide works with that downward momentum as well. But again, comparing that to our charged, I'm going to call it strafe glide. I think the strafe glide is a little bit faster. At least it feels that way to me. Now, if you combine these with transversive, I'm not sure if it's faster or not. It appears to be a little faster, I want to say. We'll do it right here. I do think it's actually quite a bit faster with the transversives. And then we can also take a look at the burst method with our dodge with the transversives. Oh, whoops, wrong thing. <laughs> We'll go. I don't feel like it's all that much different. I feel like the other one was more significantly different with the transversives on. So we go back to strafe glide. We'll consume a grenade. And take a look at it. Whoops. There we go. Looks like we have some decent speed. Again, sorry about the duplicated inputs when I'm just floating upwards. It's not intentional. Okay, so now another thing they said about Dawnblade is you're actually not able to kind of throw yourself around the map anymore and just fly at insane speeds across the map. And if we put on our Burst Glide and activate Dawnblade as we would pre-patch, we're going to see that that's kind of true. You know, it's pretty slow. It's not very good. This is the exact kind of thing that we would do. update and now it's again very slow however and this is the enticing reason of why you want to use strafe glide it's not only about the interaction it has with of course heat rises that's just cool but this with dawn blade seems to be very similar to pre-patch where we're gonna build that momentum build tons of momentum and move around the map pretty quickly and freely with our Dawn Blade as if it was pre-patch. So I'm sure you're not going to want to be swapping between the two, of course, between your Strafe Glide and your Burst Glide really frequently. If you'd like to, if you really love Burst Glide and you just want to swap for the Super, I mean, be my guest. But I'm just showing you that there is a utility to having strafe glide as well with heat rises especially when of course you know you can see your nade and activate that it's pretty good it works pretty well now if you activate your super and consume your grenade it does not work it's not a bad burst or bad glide it's just obviously not like pre-patch it's pretty average but if we have if we don't have that you can see we can build just so much momentum So yeah, so that's pretty much everything that I have to show you guys on the Dawnblade, on the Attunement of Sky, in terms of how you'd really take advantage of its movement and its speed. I think this class is really cool. It offers a pretty high skill ceiling, in my opinion, and I'm really looking forward to playing it more and seeing other people play it as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later, and hopefully I will see you in the build video coming out tomorrow. Again, using the Dawnblade Attunement of Sky. So thank you so much for watching and take care. I'll see you in the next one.